Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by three different ways, by using quadratic formula, by factoring, and by completing the square. And now very fast, we are going to use this quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. And here is the quadratic formula that we will be using to solve this quadratic equation. Now we need to find out the values of A, B, and C. Therefore, we are going to compare this given quadratic equation with our standard form. And if we compare these two equations, we can see that our A value is 1, B is negative 14, and C is positive 40. And now here is our quadratic formula, and we are going to fill in the blanks. So X is going to be simply negative, and B is negative 14 plus or minus the square root of negative 14 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 40. Everything is divided by 2 times 1. Let's simplify furthermore. So that is going to be a positive 14. Negative and negative become positive 14. Positive or negative square root of negative 14 square is 196 minus 160 divided by 2 and that is going to give us 14 plus or minus square root of 36 divided by 2 so 14 plus or minus the square root of 36 is 6 divided by 2 that is x equal to now we are going to split these two signs with a positive and negative so one is going to be 14 plus 6 divided by 2 the other one is going to be 14 minus 6 divided by 2 once again one with a positive sign and one with the negative sign so that means over here 14 plus 6 is going to become 20 divided by 2 that means x equal to 10 is one of our solutions and here that is going to give us 8 divided by 2 that means x equal to 4 is our another solution so thus our solution set turns out to be a 4 and 10 and that is our answer and now we are going to solve this quadratic equation by factoring technique the very first thing we are going to do is just focus on this constant part on the right hand side which is positive 40 and this positive 40 is going to go on the top of this x factor and now let's focus on the middle number the coefficient of x which is negative 14 this negative 14 is going to go at the bottom right up here and now in our next step we are going to find the factors of this 40 that if we can multiply them we're going to get 40 and if we add them we're going to get negative 14 and as we can see that the possible factors are going to be 4 and 10 isn't it and now let's fix the sign the signs are going to be negative 4 and negative 10 and as you can see if we multiply these two factors negative 4 and negative 10 we are going to get positive 40 and if we add these two factors we are going to get indeed negative 14 now let's start working on this quadratic equation since we want to find the factors so we are going to write down two parentheses 
always do like this thing and since this is equal to zero just write it down equal to zero and since we are dealing with x so x is going to come at the first and x is going to come at the first in the second parentheses as well and now let's look at our factors the first factor is negative 4 so negative 4 is going to show up in the first parentheses and the second factor is negative 10 that is going to come in the second parentheses and these are our factors now and since these two factors equal to zero i can separate them i can say x minus 4 equal to zero and the other one is going to be x minus 10 equal to zero over here that means x equal to positive 4 is one of our solutions and here x equal to positive 10 is our another solution so thus our solution set turns out to be a 4 and 10 and that is our answer and now finally we are going to solve this quadratic equation by completing the square so in order to do this process the very first thing we want to make sure that only x variables must be on the left hand side that means this constant must go on the other side so that means we're going to have x square minus 14x equal to when we move this 40 on the other side become negative 40 all right in the next step let's focus on the coefficient of x which is negative 14 let's focus on only this 14 only 14 i am going to write it down somewhere here 14 always divided by 2 all right 14 divided by 2 is going to give us 7 and then the next thing is we are going to square this number so we got 7 square and this is the number that i'm going to add on both sides of this equation so let's go ahead and do that one over here so we got x square minus 14x and then i'm going to put a plus and put a space over here and then negative 40 plus and now i am going to add 7 square on both side here i'm going to put down 7 square on this side and 7 square on this side as well and now as we can see on the left hand side this part represents a perfect square so we are going to use this fact a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square so i can write this part as x minus 7 square equals to on the right hand side we got negative 40 plus 7 square is 49 and now we are going to simplify x minus 7 square equal to on the right hand side this become 9 and now we want to undo this square we want to get rid of this square so we are going to take the square root on both sides and we can see that this square and square root they undo each other we got x minus 7 turns out to be positive or negative 3 and why i put down positive or negative because we are dealing with the quadratics and we want to solve for x so therefore i am going to move this negative 7 on the right hand side so this x is going to become when we move this 7 on the other side become positive 7 positive or negative 3 and now we are going to split these signs positive and negative so the first one is going to be 7 plus 3 the other one is going to be 7 minus 3 once again one with the positive sign and one with the negative sign so therefore one of our solutions is going to be x equal to positive 10 and the other one is going to be x equal to 4 so thus our solution set turns out to be 
4 and 10 and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye